When I Was Born, written by Isabel Minos Martins, illustrated by Madalena Matuso. When I Was Born, and I love, love, love the bold, colorful illustrations in this book. When I Was Born. When I was born, I had never seen anything, only the darkness of my mother's tummy. When I was born, I had never seen the sun or a flower or a face. I didn't know anybody and nobody knew me. When I was born, I didn't know what the sea was. I didn't know that there were forests and a world with mountains and beaches. When I was born, I had never seen a bird, and I didn't know that some animals had feathers, or that others had scales, or that others had hair, like my dog. What's the word that we call hair that's on a pet, hair on a dog? When I was born, I had never played with stones or got muddy hands. I had never made tunnels in the sand. My hands had never touched anything except each other. When I was born, I did not know there was a sky or that the sky could change or that clouds were so beautiful. When I was born, everything was new. Everything was about to start. So much awaits them. My eyes were amazed to discover that everything is different. Cherries are red, gardens are green, the sea is blue, my hat is yellow, little birds can be brown, clouds are white. When the lights go out, everything is black. My mouth was amazed to discover what it could do. Screaming, laughing, calling things by their names, saying nice words and bad words, kissing and sticking my tongue out, tasting milk, soup, yogurt, and fruit, tasting everything you can eat and drink. Everything is brand new for a little one. My nose was surprised too. What does your nose do? Yeah, it smells. As soon as I was born, it was amazed by the strength with which it pulled air into my body. From then on, it never stopped. Every hour, every minute, every second, it brings me fresh new air and new smells. These are the smells I love. The smell of my grandmother's lap, the smell of warm chicken soup, the smell of paints and school the smell of my shampoo, the smell of holidays when summer arrives. What smells do you enjoy? Inside my mother's tummy, I had already heard some voices, even some music, but I could not imagine how the waves speak when they come and go, or how when the wind sings, the trees sing too, or how nice it is when someone whispers or how loud it can be when something falls, thump, or how a leaf falling just goes, blip. Such a great reminder to just appreciate everything around you. When I was born, my hands wondered, what is this, who are you? And ever since then, they have never stopped. Always discovering, always learning, always opening and shutting things. With them, I have already found out that some things are soft and that others are hard, that some things are hot and others are cold, and that some things have other things inside them, and that inside those things there are other things, and inside those things there are even more things. With my hands, I can reach nearly everything, but if I can't, I stand on tiptoe. When I was born, my feet didn't know how to walk but now they take me everywhere. They let me run and dance and jump up and down on my bed. When I was born, I didn't know anything. 
Now I know that there is a whole world to discover. Millions and millions of things my hands haven't yet reached. Millions and millions of lands my feet haven't yet taken me to. And new smells and sounds and tastes. But one thing is certain. Each day I discover something new. And that is the most wonderful thing of all. Do you still discover something new every day? I know that I like to. This book reminds me of another book that we read last week called Small World about Nanda and how her world started with just her mother's arms but grew and grew and grew. And same thing with this character. Um, when I was born, all I knew was darkness. But then slowly my world expanded and I used my five senses to learn about more and more and more things. 